for you. That is a cookie can do cookie for you guys, especially. How's it going everybody? It's Christian L here with Eat Like an Apex. This evening we're in San Francisco, California, but we're gonna have dinner tonight at a place called Little Nepal. It's located in Bernal Heights. We're gonna meet up the owner, Susan, and we're gonna take a look at the food that they have specialized in, which is Nepalese food. I've had Nepalese food a couple times, not many, but when I do have it, I'm reminded of a kind of a Indian and Chinese fusion. But we're gonna take a look at what they have here. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I hope you find time to subscribe. I greatly appreciate that. With that said, I'm gonna show you everything in this video right now. <laughs> It's pretty dark outside here, but we are approaching Little Nepal here at the Bernal Heights of San Francisco. Good to see you, Kristen. All right. Hi. How are you? Susan, everybody. Susan here at no, I don't the want pool. To. The pool. Yeah. You block for me. <laughs> 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 See that you block for me. <laughs> Okay, so we're here at the Little Nepal, and oh, thank you, that's the spicy hot sauce, huh? That's the hot spicy. sauce. Yes, okay. Oh, so she brought me out the spicy sauce, but we were in the kitchen earlier, and we got to see exactly what they're kind of doing with all the food here. They had made a, a variety of different curry dishes back there, uh, the lamb tandoori, and the, I think it was chicken or a turkey tandoori. But this evening, we're gonna start this off with, I guess I'll try the papadon. Papadon chip. All crispy and and fried to perfection. You know, I'm gonna use the sauce right here. They have a tamarind sauce and a it's a it's a green chutney, another type of chutney. All right, here we go. Yeah, good. Oh my god, that papadon is a, a crispy, one of the most flakiest, crispiest textured uh, type of wheat that you'll ever have. Oh, it's so flaky. It's so crispy, just totally just kind of breaks apart very easily, real lightly, it just kind of tears apart just like that. And yeah, really delicate. Oh yeah, and a tremendous flavor when you have it with uh, the sauce here. I'm gonna try the tamarind sauce now. Put some of that tamarind sauce on here. All right, here we go. That tamarind sauce is a nice sweet sauce. Um, the next meal we have here is the momos, and I believe they're chicken momos. The chicken momos come with a, another type of sauce. Let me try it with, without the uh, sauce first. All right, that's a chicken chicken momo. A nice soft textured wrap, and with the chicken filling. Yeah, you definitely get a kind of an Indian Asian fusion with these momos. All right, so I'm gonna dip this into the, it's a, ch a tomato chutney that they have here. You definitely want to have the momos with the sauce. It enhances the flavor to the next level immediately. Yeah, I would recommend having the momos with the sauce for more flavor profile. And then she has a spicier version of the uh, chutney tomato sauce. And she said to mix it a little bit, so I'm probably gonna end up mixing it with just the just the one momo. All right, All right here we go. With the spicy sauce right here. Same flavor, tinge of spice, excellent. Really enjoy that that spice with that. Okay, so these are the momos. Get the momos here. The first time I'm gonna ever try this right here is turkey. And I've had tandoori chicken before, I've never had tandoori turkey. This is a, a kind of a Thanksgiving theme because Thanksgiving is tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some of this lime onto, well, let me, let me grab one of the turkeys first. Comes with some grilled onions, new green onions, or cilantro. Now I'm gonna get sliced this up right here, just like that. All right. You know, before I have any of the grilled onions, I'm gonna have it by itself. Tandoori turkey. Wow. 
immediately. That, that tandoori turkey is very tender. Being that it's cooked in the tandoori oven, it definitely plays to that favor. Those grill marks, those burn marks, that the texture, the flavor of it. Oh wow, yeah, this is definitely something that you want to try. I'm gonna go ahead and try it with some of the onions now because I'm a big fan of grilled onions. Put some of those grilled onions on top of here. And then uh, I'm gonna dip it in the spicy sauce too, and the spicy chutney, just like that. All right, here we go. those grilled onions next level the lime next level yeah that turkey right there it's tender but I really like having the, the grilled onions with it I like having that uh, that added citrus flavor to it. it gives it a nice soury tinge to it but again that turkey is top-notch yeah definitely a special day to, uh, to have a tandoori turkey here on the eve of Thanksgiving oh thank you oh thank you thank you only in my restaurant has a Nepali bear oh Nepali bear Mm. Yeah. I want to drink that. So, mm. so she brought brought this out here, and she said this is the only place that they have a Nepali beer. All right. So the next thing we're gonna have is the, the garlic naan with lentil and mixed vegetable curry, and again some of that uh, tomato chutney right here. I'm gonna get that naan, and I'm gonna pour some uh, the lentil first. So let's try some of that lentil onto my naan. So here we go. All right, and that's a garlic naan right here. That garlic naan is extraordinary. There's regular naan, and if you ever come to a restaurant and they have garlic naan, get the garlic naan because that garlic naan, if you like garlic, this is something that you must, must have, must order. Really garlicky, that naan's texture is really nice and crispy, almost like a crepe. But the flavor of that garlic really sticks out and there's some I believe there's some cilantro on the naan as well, too Oh, yeah, next thing I'm gonna have with it is the mixed vegetable So mixed vegetable Curry I got a potato and then I'm gonna try some of that uh, uh, cauliflower All right, I'm gonna paste that there like a like a not like a garlic naan taco All right, here we go All right, the mixed vegetable. I'm a big fan of mixed vegetable curry. It's probably one of my favorite dishes is mixed vegetable curry as far as uh, Indian cuisine. It's it's so good, especially with that naan. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna dip it in that tomato sauce real quick. Taste it with some onions. Extraordinary. All right, so right here we have a, I think it's a, the, the tomato. It might be chicken curry, <laughs> chicken with the Nepalese uh, tomato sauce. And they said have it with the rice, so I'm gonna get some of that rice first. Pour some onto my plate. And then I'm gonna get some of that chicken with the sauce. Pour right here. Oh yeah, all right. Okay, here we go. Navigate a big chicken and rice bite. Oh, oh that's gonna be a big bite. Yeah, I, I'm ready to do this. That right there is on point. That dish right there with that sauce, that chicken is so tender, excellent flavor, a tomatoey, creamy flavor, and it goes great with the rice. This is something to get as well. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Get some more of that rice. Ultimate Nepalese food. So we have a customers here at Susan's restaurant in Little Nepal, and they, uh, her friends are here with us this evening. What, what did you like about this place? Uh, I like the um, the cozy atmosphere of the restaurant. Uh huh. The cozy atmosphere of the restaurant. Yeah, I feel like very calm. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Very peaceful. What's your Whenever favorite I, dish? What, what do you want? Like? Oh, lamb tandoori. Lamb tandoori. Lamb tandoori. Oh, the lamb tandoori. Oh, very good. Oh, very good. Hi. Hello. Second time. Second time. This place, but I will keep coming oh. because what I like is the authentic. Nepalese um, chicken Thai. Oh wow! Yummy. Nepalese, okay. Thai. Thai, okay. Vietnamese. Vietnamese. Irish. First oh. time in okay. a Vietnamese restaurant. Oh, first time in Nepal. A lot of Nepal times. Nepal times. Oh, I've tried different dishes. Uh -huh. Every single dish that I've tried so uh -huh. far, yeah. uh, whether it's like the sizzling uh -huh. or the curry, right. it's like uh -huh. spot on. It's like really good. Oh, right yeah. on. Okay, you heard it here. 
Okay. Thank you so much oh, for having watch us. Some more, yeah, okay? uh, this is Susan, the owner here. I want you to check out if you're in the San Francisco area, the Burnout Heights. <laughs> this is the first Nepalese restaurant in San Francisco, right? That's correct. One yes. of the first ones been here since 2003. Since, since 2003. Yeah. And so, and they're still here. She's here. Come visit them here, guys. If you're ever visiting San Francisco, and and say hi to Susan for me. Thank you. And welcome anyone to try Nepali food. Oh, thank yeah. you. <laughs> All right, guys, we just made it home from San Francisco. We checked out Little Nepal. I just want to thank Susan, the owner of Little Nepal. Just thank you again for her or her kind, for being so kind. Uh, just everything was so delicious. I especially like that tandoori turkey um, for like Thanksgiving. Tandoori. Yeah, like tandoori. I smell, I smell your breath that smells like tandoori. <laughs> The tomato soup with the chicken was also really excellent as well. Everything that they brought out to the table was really good. Yeah, the presentation, just the entire experience, uh, we just felt like at home. But if you're looking for Nepalese food, this is the place to go to. So be sure to check them out when you head up to San Francisco near Bernal Heights. Yeah, with that said, I'm gonna close this video off right now. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you do like it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate that. Peace out, one love, late. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a thing. Later, see you in the next one. Bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> see you <laughs> Shake, shake, shake it, shake, shake, shake. Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> oh, that's cute. You know the floss? That's called flossing. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Do you want to be on camera? No. I'm a cypher. I like about this place. Uh, I like the um, the cozy atmosphere of the restaurant. Uh huh. The cozy atmosphere of the restaurant. Yeah, I feel like